So, every day I find something that really makes me laugh and chuckle. Today is no exception. So, we're doing an atmospheric moisture remote survey on this lovely ground floor apartment uh, in Leeds. Now, it's a converted old building. And they've got some problems with mould and moisture, condensate falling on the windows, mouldy window reveals, etc. So we've been asked to come in and have a look at it. Um, when we're doing the ventilation survey, looking around the property, I'm looking for means of natural ventilation and mechanical background ventilation. So looking at the kitchen, we've got a, um, an, an extraction hood here, but it's not ducted to atmosphere. So literally all this is doing is just circulating the air in the kitchen. So we're looking at the other moisture producing rooms, we immediately go into like the bathrooms and the en suites, etc. So we come to the bathroom and I come in and we turn the light on. And we can hear a whizzing. Sounds like a fan. So we're looking real for this fan. And I'm looking at the ceilings. Okay, and there's the shower head. Um, no fan above the shower head, where we'd expect to see it. And we're looking at the walls. And no fans near the walls. Right, now this building is being converted and designed such that the bathroom is actually located centrally in the middle of the building, so there's really no external wall space. So there's no way to duct a fan externally without ducting through the, the, the lower ceilings, etc. But I can hear this fan, I'm thinking, where is it? So I'm looking around the bathroom, and all of a sudden I'm following this noise, and I look down at the toilet, and there it is. So if you look carefully, you'll see this little box here, and that's the fan. Now, we have, um, we have what, a velocity manometer, and it, it's like a wind vane, basically with a hood. And what we do is we, we put that over the fan, and as the fan's pulling, it will give us a performance rating of the fan of how many litres per second it's pulling from atmosphere. So, building regulations, standard code of practice, to be level 15 litres per second from ventilation, mechanical ventilation, in kitchen and bathroom. But because of where this fan is, and the design of the fan, actually, I can't get the hood over it. So we can do a very simple test with just a piece of toilet paper, really. Um, if we just offer that up to the fan, we can see how well the fan is sucking, if it wants to pull it out of my hand, wants to hold it against the unit, and as you can see there, it's, this fan is doing absolutely nothing. Um, it always amazes me when we get these atmospheric moisture mold surveys, we're looking at these properties with problems, mainly flats actually, whether the conversions or whether the new built flats got no external space for drying clothes, so we've got a lot of clothing etc, dried on radius throughout the property, and then we're looking at the, 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 the means and level of both natural and mechanical ventilation, we find that it's pretty much non-existent, so no wonder these houses are sweating, but it, it, never, it never ceases to amaze me how people think that that is sufficient and it would actually do its job. We all know that warm air, water vapour rises, so what good do we expect a fan in the floor, down the back of the toilets do? Especially when it's got to be ducted, what, five metres to an external wall? It's a bit of a joke really. Anyway, I just thought it was worthwhile showing you. Thank you.